and did not um, have a family out of it. And for me, a family, uh, a family of, of, a, of a couple can be a family, right? But for me, it meant having children. And that, but it's not going to happen, right? And so I said, okay, I gotta, I gotta move on and figure things out. And when I did that, in that process, I met Karen here. And now we have three children, all of whom are technically hers, but they're more mine than anybody, right? <laughs> and I didn't even mean to do this, but this third book of mine is about the process of going from divorce to finding your family. And the first poem, um, Karen often says, how on earth does Trump get that shit happening? Well, you know, how on earth does this happen? How on earth? And so it kind of got into my mind. So it's kind of funny. A couple of months ago, I realized, like, man, my third book that's about finding my family with Karen, the first line is her line. And this poem was also on the slowdown sledge by Major Jackson. So there you go. I got to read this. All right, this is on earth. If the dead don't know how on earth to live, how on earth can the living? Mistakes stack up like nights. We get in over our heads whether or not we truly love the ones we're with. No one asks to be dropped onto the glass like this. And though we do not rehearse our deliveries, we find ourselves delivered nonetheless into these thin-skinned vessels we call the self in which we love and lose and love and lose again and again. And must learn to trust the stars are fixed in the ether despite our first fevers. Our mothers either wringing their hands over us in our cribs through the night or trusting or trusting our illness burns brightly, yes, but nowhere near as bright as us. Thank you very much. Ten minutes. Go have your cigarettes, go get your beers and your whiskeys and your bathrooms and come right back. Thank you very much.